Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an issue with Windows Update continuously turning off by itself. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the start menu, just left click on the start button one time. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back a registry editor, just left click on that one time. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now you want to left click on the file tab of the top of the registry editor, left click on export. Now in file name, uh, to just type in the date in which we are creating this back above the registry. And then just save it to a convenient location on your desktop or on a removable media device, whatever you prefer. Left click on save to save it. And if you ever need to go back and change anything after this tutorial, just go up to the file tab and then import. And then you just relocate it and then re-import it back in. So now with that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and open up the start menu. Left click on the start button one time. Type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and left click on yes. Now there's going to be several commands in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy them out and run them one at a time and I'm going to show them on the screen as we're going through it so it should be pretty easy to follow along. The first one is going to start with an HK local machine entry so again you just want to copy it out of my description of my video. Go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it one time, left click on edit and then left click on paste. Once it's pasted in it should be almost instantaneous and it comes back with it saying that the operation completed successfully. Once you're done with that, we're going to run the next command in my description of my video. It's going to be an sc-config command. We're going to get the Windows Update Service rolling here. So copy it again, right click on the top bar of the command prompt, left click at it, left click on paste. should say success, and that's what we're looking for there. Another thing you want to go type in, there's going to be about six or seven more of them here. It's going to be net stop bits. So you're going to copy that. Again, edit, paste. I'm copying them from off the screen here so you guys can't see me copying them, but I'm copying them one at a time. In the description of my video, I will have them all listed out in the exact order I am running them here. So we're going to run the next one here. So you see what I'm doing. You can also type in exactly as it appears on my screen if you choose to do so. I find copying and pasting is usually a little bit faster. And we're going to go ahead and run the next one here. And we're going to keep going down the list. And once that one's done, we're going to go run the next one here. And go run the next one in the list. And again, we're just going to keep going down the list here. And we got two more to run, so we are almost done with this. And last one here. And once you're done running all of these, I would suggest restarting your computer, and hopefully that has been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.